All right, guys, so I came here to the National Automobile Museum here in Reno, right on the Truckee River. And uh, this is the uh, automobile collection of William Hera of the Hera's Casino uh, fame and fortune. Uh, he died in 1978, and the estate stepped in in order to save the collection um, and built this beautiful museum. It is fantastic. Um, very nice people working here. So I thought I'd kind of just walk around and let you uh, see some of the vehicles because some of the stuff I didn't even know even existed. Like this vehicle here, 1913 Stanley Steam Wagon. I'm wondering if that's where Stanley Steamer got their name. Um, that's really incredible. But uh, this is the first gallery, and it's going to house all the cars from the early 1900s. There's a 1911 Ford, 1913 Stoltz. So you get the uh, you get the gist. Um, there's two cars over here that I thought were really interesting. And I didn't know um, that this, you know, because I've taken a tour of the Thomas Edison Museum. And of course, him and Henry Ford were good friends. So look at this vehicle here. Now, this is a 1903 Ford. Okay. You see it. That's a 1903 Cadillac. They're like identical. And supposedly, Cadillac, which was... Um, formed with a guy named uh, Henry Leland, was partners with Henry Ford in the beginning. And that's why the cars look identical. So anyway, this uh, uh, museum has four galleries. Again, starts with the earliest vehicles and goes all the way. Well, if you figure if he died in 1978, then they're going to have probably not going to go any newer than the 60s, I wouldn't think. Maybe the 50s. Because you got to remember, a car doesn't even become an antique until it's about 20 or 25 years old. So, um, if he died in 78, I'm not expecting to see anything newer than 50s, maybe 60s. But, I mean, every possible thing you can think of is represented here. And, I mean, the technology that they had, I mean, this is 1909. I mean, look at that light. And has a wick in it, so they'd have to light it, like you know, with and it obviously it had fluid in it to make it burn. So they, you know, didn't have electricity. They didn't have you know headlights like we have now. They had to use fire. It's incredible. Um, so well worth coming to the museum and checking it out. Uh, if you have AAA, the admission um, was nine dollars, and. Um, you know, they have Packards here and, I mean, just everything you can you can think of um, to check out. So if you're into cars, especially classic cars, and you're in Reno, definitely come check it out. And um, anyway, Hanson on the Road signing off.